Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Francis and today I'm gonna be doing a little challenge that I actually came up with. So the other day I was trying to look at new challenges and tags to do because I wanted to do something that made people actually come and love this channel. The trouble was I kept being like, fuck, I don't have that many books. What the hell? I just didn't have enough books especially to answer those questions. I was becoming kind of desperate. So I started thinking, what can I do? I know that every viewer likes to watch tags and challenges and that every booktuber, including me, likes to record them and have a whole process because it's fun. They're supposed to be fun. So I actually ended up coming up with my own challenge. So I'm just going to go for it and, you know, be horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know, let you in on the guidelines and rules in a second. I'm gonna try to do this, but I'm probably gonna fail miserably, horribly, wrongly, and amazingly bad at it. I don't know. Something that is horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna be miserable, probably. Honestly, I hope you guys are miserable to any giant. If you're not, just give it another twist and make it so that you are miserable while trying it. That's what's fun about booktube tags, right? Here are the rules, here are the guidelines. The challenge is called the 25 book name... Wait, what, what is it called? It's the 25 book challenge. Name 25 books that you have in your shelves or that you can remember that follow these guidelines or rules and do it under two minutes. The guidelines and rules are name five books with the letter Z in their title, name five books or series with ocean references, name five books or series about kids, name five books or series related to the Harry Potter series, and name five books or series you love. I think that's it. And the rules are, if the book belongs to a series, you can only name that one book in the series. The books about kids don't have to have the kids as the main character. What else? You can only name repeated books in one of the first four categories and in the last category, which means you can name, for example, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in one of the categories, and then you can name it again in the last category, which is five books you loved. Oh, and at the end of the challenge, after you stop the stopwatch, tell everyone which books you would recommend. Oh, and why? Tell, tell us why. The purpose with the challenge is, you know, for everyone to have more book recommendations, more book name references, so that they can look around and that they can buy them and that they can be happier reading them, blah, 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 stuff like that. My glasses are dirty. Oh God, what happened to them? Here we go. So that's it, guys. Those are the rules, those are the guidelines, and that's the objective, and so we will be jumping right onto it. So, because I suck, and I film this with my phone, I have a stopwatch set on the computer, and I will be starting in... So, there we go. Name five books with or series with the letter Z in their title, and I can remember Z, Z for Zachariah, World War Z, I do not know this, but, uh, The Wizard of Oz? <laughs> um, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Well, never mind, next. <laughs> Three there. Uh, name five books or series with ocean references, and I will go for... The Concrete Blonde probably has, has references, I don't know, I'm gonna stuff. Um, what else? Damn it. Oh god, ocean references, ocean references. Okay, never mind. Uh, name five books or series about kids. Uh, Harry Potter, the Harry Potter series. Uh, it's not kids, but I mean, as a, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Um, oh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Uh, it, The Chalk Man, and what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, Steelheart. Steelheart is uh, teens, but, you know, kids as well. Whatever. Five books or series related to the Harry Potter series. Uh, there's uh, Quidditch Through Times, I think that's how it's called. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Uh... <clears throat> oh, I had another one. Damn it. La 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 la. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, Tales of Little Bart, and what else? Um, never mind. 
Name five books or series related to that. Uh, five books or series you loved. Um, one Q84. Uh, Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Earth. Harry Potter series. Um, one K84. Not the five. Okay, never mind. Time's up. Huh? <laughs> uh, I swear I didn't suffer that much. Okay, so that's it, guys. That's my challenge. To with which, in which, at which, whatever. I failed miserably i'm so sorry and i hope you do 100 times better than i did at this now for the interesting part the tags i had this crazy idea wouldn't it be really really nice to have a lot of booktubers doing this challenge and trying to have a go at it giving it their little twist would be so nice right this this is actually where i get kind of cocky <laughs> i was thinking to myself it would be so nice to see the big booktubers you know doing the challenge and maybe failing at it, but they probably won't. <laughs> this will probably be easy peasy for them. And so I thought, well, why don't I tag them? Of course, I didn't go at it empty hearted. And so I decided to tag some big YouTubers that I have been following since I started on BookTube and that have actually indirectly helped me until now. They actually helped me get started with their videos on how to YouTube, how to BookTube, things like that. And so here are the tags that I'm gonna go for in this video. A piece of paper. In no particular order, Emma Books, Haley in Bookland, A Clockwork Reader, Tashapolis, A Dash of Ash, A Book Utopia, and Dread by Zoe. There are some other people that have been a bit more active uh, at my YouTube channel that I've been chatting a little bit more with, you know, having some book discussions and things like that, so I thought I would include them here. These are The Bookish Hamster, Bianca Victoria, The Purse of Books, and Court the Reader. Oh, of course, if you're here and you want to do the challenge, you're tagged as well. So yeah go for it. Well, thank you so much for being here guys and thank you so much for watching. I guess I will see you around somewhere here in my channel maybe. Don't forget to subscribe so that I get to see you here again. Don't forget to like, leave your comments if you have any suggestions and bye bye.